hi guys welcome back to another market breakdown video and then on this video we're looking at nasdaq and us 30. so on the previous videos guys i was telling you that nasdaq will sell nasdaq will sell so as you can see we got like some movement to the downside on nasdaq and then some of the people that take me serious on this youtube channel took sales some of them made like a lot of profits so as you can see we are still pushing to the downside and then i'm expecting continuations so uh, on this video, we're just going to see if we get like those nice continuations to the downside. And then guys, the $20 mentorship of which is 350 lifetime will end today market open or tomorrow, Monday morning at 12 o'clock, the mentorship special will be ending. So make it your priority that you join the group so that you can get like some proper learning. As you can see, I'm dropping full on content that has like value uh, towards like your trading journey. So on nasdaq we are on the weekly chart so as you can see the market is not open yet that is why i'm using like the weekly chart so you can just plot a trend line just like this and see that we are creating higher lows and lower lows so which means the market will be pushing to the downside i don't know how long it will push to the downside but as you all remember our target is below this point here or at this area here just because it's our 90% rule and then it's our sensitive area and then if you look at the trend line on the lower lows you'll see that we have this touch here and we have this touch here and then we had a near miss around this point and then as you all know what the market does all the time is that it completes all the patterns that it makes for us just because if we look closely you'll see that this can be the third touch whereby it will be in line with the market structure let's say this is the mass psychology area whereby we get the third touch then we can look for buying opportunities up until this point or up until we break structure then we hit the overall 90 percent rule so this is a sample setup as you can see it's straightforward and it does not need like any complication as you can see the charts are not complicated and then moving to a daily time frame that is where you see like the overall market structure and then I'll just put like my trend lines correctly so that you can just see how we are looking at this overall market structure. So we have this high point here, whereby it was that mass psychology area that we were looking for. So we just tapped into that uh, mass psychology area, not creating that uh, push to the upside and then push to the downside that we only see, just because we have a trend line here that is in line with the structure. As you can see here, let me just make it pop so that you can just see it nicely so as you can see here we just hit the trend line and then we push to the downside and then we have this overall ascending channel around here and i like the fact that i'm sharing these setups with you guys so that you can just see that uh i'm not uh playing games or i'm not guessing things i'm showing you the things that happen in the market all the time and then you don't see them just because you don't have like the right knowledge so you have the ascending channel and then you have the overall bottom here around here just like this so as you can see and then if you just pattern separate everything you'll see that this is a pattern on its own whereby we have this expanding and then as you all know an expanding pattern most of the time will just continue with the trend wherever it's going even if you get like an expanding pattern whereby the market is pushing to the upside it will respond to the movement to the upside just because it's it's uh it's only continuing like with the trend so as you can see here we had this push to the downside and then looking at the four hour time frame that is where uh we check for momentum all the time if you look at all my videos you'll know that we check for momentum all the time and then check in the links check the links in the description below and then you'll find a nice broker whereby you can trade nice that you can use I, ifx or you can use vault markets it depends on you but i recommend vault markets just because we need to make money so this is the overall structure that we have on the four hour chart and then we have this pattern on its own also but you'll see it nicely on the lower time frame but i already know what's going on on nasdaq that is why i'm just plotting out each and everything and then as you can see on the hour chart this is where the entries happen. This is where we get like those nice setups. So as you can see here, I'll just move this trend line to the back a bit 
And then as you can see at the top of the structure, we had that mass psychology activation around here. And then those who trace support and resistance will be thinking this is a break. And then we look for those continuation to the upside. Am I wrong? And I also trade support and resistant, but I know my way around like uh, support and resistant. I know when it's good to use it and then I know when it's wrong to use it. So we have that mass psychology activation at the top. And then we have this push to the downside, corrective move here. And then we have the push to the downside, corrective move. And then we expect another corrective move to initially push to the downside. Simple as that, guys. That is how we look at the overall market structure all the time in my group. And then as you can see here on the hour, we created some type of a tight flag around this area here. And then I don't want to waste your time, guys, because some of you don't watch up until the end. So I don't want to waste your time. But as you can see here, we have this pattern on its own, of which is the expanding, as I said. It follows structure, as you can see here. And then we have this area here. This is not a nice price action that I like to see, but Whenever the market gives you things, just go with the flow. <laughs> just go with the flow, guys. So we have this area here. So we have this push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, first tight flag, breaking the lows around this point, of which it's a new tight flag that we can use. Uh, it's like it's like on the uh, green zone, if you look at it like this. If you look at it like this, it's on the green zone. It's the same as looking at it on the top of the structure of which is maybe around this point. So as it breaks structure, then that is when you can take like your selling opportunities, your stop loss can be just above this point. And then knowing that we are targeting the overall 90% around this area here for about 9%, as you can see, that's still a nice trade. And then if you miss this one, just know that you can just wait for another push down. Tight flag, we are still in the red zone, in the green zone around here. Then when we reach the amber, just know that we can get a tight flag. Then that larger flag will just uh, create itself. Then if you're into risk entries, you can take it on the third touch and then look for those selling opportunities. So that is how I'm looking at uh, NASDAQ. And then let's look at US 30. So on US 30, same thing, guys. We were looking for those selling opportunities around this point. If you watch my videos up until the end, you will get like nice entries all the time all the time guys so we have this high here we have this low point here and then we had this mass psychology activation as you can see here and then we had this trend line around this point i don't remember when i shared like this video telling you that it doesn't matter if price action breaks structure like a descending channel and then you look for those buying opportunities saying that we'll reach like this area here let's say we break structure here around this point let me just show you around this point and then you know you think that the market will just reach like this point here just like this it doesn't work like that guys we have high value areas this is a high value area this is also a high value area whereby the market can just retrace guys is because we can just retrace from here to up to here and then we look for those buying opportunities from there and then creating this type of movement we have a higher low around here and then we create a higher high in a form of a buy here so this is a basic uh, this is basic price action if you don't know it uh i don't know guys i don't know so uh let's look at the overall market structure and see if we can get like those nice selling opportunities from there so on the daily on the daily as you all know on the previous videos i told you that we have to pattern separate everything just because this is messy price action and then whenever we have some messy price action, then we have to make it by all means that we pattern separate everything so that we can have a Ronaldo in our uh, trading charts, guys. So we have the messy price action around here. So I'll just remove the messy price action by pattern separating. So on the four hour, this is where we look for momentum. This is where we look for momentum. So I always say the same things, guys, the same things, momentum, structure, side flag, same things. So we have this ascending channel on its own here. And then on the lower time frame, you'll see that this is a tight flag, nice tight flag around here. And then pattern separating this area also. We have this as a pattern on its own. We had some type of a double top 
around chair override. As you all know how overrides work, instead of getting like the third touch, just because we have this one, two, and then we expect the third touch, the market will just retrace from here and then we get like those selling opportunities. And then as I said on the previous videos, we can target this low here. As you can see, we tapped the low very nicely. We hit the overall target. And then now what we can expect, we can expect the same uh, price action that we got on NASDAQ of which we break structure just like this. Like I said, we break structure around here and then we look for that new type flag of which it will happen here. Then you look for the selling opportunities also on the US 30. So let me just remove that. And then on the hour, that is where we get like the nice uh, setup that we are always looking forward to getting, guys. There's no one in the markets that wants to get like bad setups. Everyone wants a good setup whereby we bank a lot of uh, RR on it. So as you can see here, we have the ascending channel. And then on that ascending channel, I'll just do this. And then we have the ascending structure around this point, guys. So uh, what I'll do, guys, is that each and every video, uh, I want you guys to give me like a 100 likes. And then when I get those 100 likes, uh, I'll try and make sure that we create those live sessions that we always had. I uh, have been doing like on YouTube. We have been getting like, we have been making like a live session. I think last year we were, we were doing like live sessions at around three o'clock all the time, uh, SA time. And then I think that is uh, New York Open. And then that is when we were analyzing like your NASDAQ and your US data so that we can get like sniper entries. And then we were banking like a lot of profits. Those who were in that uh, live sessions know that we were doing like good, very, very good. So we have this pattern here on the low. As you all know, we broke the low of which this is a new type flag that you can uh, take with confidence for it to push to the downside. It's not flat, but it's okay. So you can move like your stop loss just above or you can just clear this area here and then you are targeting the overall 90% of which is here. So as you can see, US data is giving us 11% and the NASDAQ was giving us at around 9%. So of which these trades are very, very good. And then for us to get like a plan B on this one, as I said, this can be another one that takes us out. So you can just do this, have a trend line of which is moving like this. Then you can have like a high point of which is this one. So this will act as your uh, mass psychology area whereby you expect the market to reach this point here. Let me just do this. Whereby you expect the market to reach like this point. Then that is when you can look for a risk, a risk entry at the top of the structure. The stop loss is just above and then you're targeting the lows of which is this area here. So this can be this can also be a nice trade whereby you get like 16.6%. And then if you are targeting the tight flag, just because some are conservative when coming to their uh, capital, just because we use like uh, funded accounts, some of us. So you can just use like a tight flag whereby you can still get like uh, 11%, same as the one at the bottom of the structure. So you don't need to be first in the markets for you to bank profits. As you can see, even if you miss like this entry and then the market decides to push to the upside, you still have an entry whereby it's the same risk to reward as this one at the bottom, thinking that the market has already left you and then FOMO kicks in and then you lose. So it's the same scenario, guys, as you can see. So uh, that is it for today's video. And then I hope you took some value. And then if you like uh, my videos, guys, drop a like, smash the like button, the way that you smash your hand, smash that like button and then we... We'll see you on another video. Have a great, 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 great week. And then hope you like and subscribe. Shop, shop, guys.